The Nigerian Senate has suspended plenary in honor of late Senator Ifanyo Ba, who passed away during the annual recess of the National Assembly. The Red Chamber resumed its plenary session on Tuesday following the annual recess that began in late July. President of the Senate, Gatswila Pabio, read several correspondences from President Bola Tinubu. The communications include a supplementary appropriation bill for the Federal Capital Territory Administration, the nomination of Justice Kudirad Kekere Kun for confirmation as the Chief Justice of Nigeria, and a request for the confirmation of commissioners for the Re Revenue Mobilization Allocation and Fiscal Commission. I am pleased to forward for confirmation by the Senate the appointment of 21 underneath nominees as commissioners to fill the existing vacancies of their respective states in the Revenue Mobilization and Location and Fiscal Commission. Ms. Linda Nkeshi Otin, Fabia State, Mr. Akpa Nimo Efion, for Akwaibom, and Nefe Ekene for Anambra, Professor Steve Uba for Benue, Chief Eloisa Wili Cross River, uh, Arubia Egawe, for Delta, Nduka, Henry, Awuegu for Eboi, Victor Eboiwe uh, for Edo, uh, Wumi Ogunua for Aikiti, uh, Ozo Oguweme, Obodogu for Enugu. After the formalities, the lawmakers paid tribute to the late Senator Ifanyo Ba CON by observing a moment of silence. Senator Ba, who passed away in late July 2024 at 52, represented the Anambra South Senatorial District and chaired the Senate Committee on Petroleum Resources downstream. Following the tribute, the plenary session was adjourned to honor the late Senator's legacy. We remain resolute in our commitment to ensuring the development of our great nation. Very unfortunately, in the course of the break, this sad news of a very vibrant, distinguished colleague, a man who exuded so much candor, the senior senator, if I am back, was broken. A monumental loss to this National Assembly, the Senate in particular, his family, the good people of Anambra said, and Nigeria as a whole. We therefore extend our heartfelt condolences to his family, his constituents, Anambra State, and indeed our dear nation. At the appropriate time, we will do justice to his legacies by devoting more time in chambers to discuss the times and life of the single senator, if I ever. The adjournment by the Red Chamber is in line with the tradition of the National Assembly to suspend the first sitting after the death of a federal lawmaker. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.